If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Today, JetBrains announced the public preview of the next generation IDE called Fleet. Last year, JetBrains announced the Fleet and invited developers and testers for a closed beta testing. But today, you can test Fleet using the public preview program. All you need is JetBrains toolbox. From there, you can install Fleet. There is no separate installation available for Fleet. Only thing you need is JetBrains toolbox. So what is Fleet? So Fleet is the next generation IDE. JetBrains developed the IDE from scratch using uh, Kotlin. So the core features of JetBrains Fleet is it is lightweight and smart IDE. Whenever you launch Fleet, it starts with a basic mode but you can convert that into a beast mode, basically a smart mode, so that you can get some uh, quality fixes, definitions, auto completions, uh, syntax highlighting, and a lot of uh, bells and whistles. But the unique thing about Fleet is its architecture, which is uh, distributed. So as you see here, whenever you launch your uh, Fleet, basically it's a thick client application you install in Mac OS or uh, Windows, and you have your source code. So this is a very simple editor mode, but you can turn that on into a smart mode. So there is a button called smart mode. Once you enable it, you will get the code engine and also you will get the language servers feature. So that will give you the syntax highlighting, uh, usages, uh, code completions, uh, uh, quality uh, attributes, quick fixes. So those things you will get it once you turn on the smart mode. But the uh, distributed nature so that is one of the unique feature in uh, fleet you can integrate fleet with jetbrains space so space is a, a software uh, development platform basically you can do uh, say git hosting you can do package management file storage documents chat teams issue tracker so you will get everything as one package Today also you can uh, test it out a space uh, which is in the beta program so please check it out. From there also you can integrate with Fleet. Basically whenever you create some repository in space you can open that repository using Fleet. And you can connect to your uh, Docker instance uh, in Fleet so that you can do a pull, push, inspect and you can run your containers. So those things uh, we'll be seeing eventually. And also you can connect to a remote machine and use that instance uh, of fleet running so that you can work on your code. So that is another feature uh, in the distributed nature and also the uh, power of uh, cloud. So that is a coming soon uh, feature. So using this distributed nature and uh, by uh, leveraging the IntelliJ code engine, uh, this is what uh, makes the fleet uh, unique. And another important aspect is collaboration. So you can create some session and invite your colleagues to take part in the uh, say code review or uh, uh, debugging. So you can just uh, uh, work uh, with uh, collaboration asynchronously using the collaboration uh, feature. And another important thing is Polyglot. So one project, you might be having uh, multiple technologies. You might have a bash scripting, you might have Python or you might have a Docker. So, so many things you can have in one project. So instead of switching the IDEs from one to another, you can use Fleet. It supports Python, Java, JavaScript, Go, Kotlin, and so many uh, languages. You can check the uh, complete uh, Fleet feature matrix. So that is what Fleet makes the uh, unique in IDEs. And of course, you can run it from the uh, space which I already discussed. So you can just uh, go to jetbrains.com slash fleet uh, to know more about Fleet. Now let us uh, go back to the uh, architecture here. So this is the high level architecture uh, of uh, Fleet. So as you see, you can have multiple uh, Fleet instances running to connect to your workspace. So this workspace acts as a broker between the backend and the front end. So basically the workspace will store all your uh, uh, say uh, state information and uh, it will uh, uh, share it with the backend. And in the back end, basically it's a headless service. So headless service will take care of uh, indexing and then uh, uh, static analysis, advanced research. So all the process, heavy thing, you can just uh, shift it to the uh, back end uh, uh, servers. And also you have the uh, FSD, which is the uh, fleet uh, system daemon. So this is an agent running 
uh, to the system where the your uh, source code and sdks reside so this is what makes a fleet a unique uh, polyglot and distributed architecture so it's kind of a, a new uh, to the uh, development environment ecosystem okay, now let us quickly jump into the uh, fleet demo you can install fleet from the uh, jetbrains toolbox i have already installed you can just follow the uh, jetbrains.com uh, download page and then you can uh, download the uh, toolbox from there so this is the home page of fleet as you see here you can clone from git you can connect to space ssh wsl docker and you can join the session and at the top right you can see settings and themes and key map the themes as of now uh, we have only five as you see here but uh, more themes are coming the extensibility of the fleet uh, is set to arrive so as of now let us select a dark purple and if you go to settings again as you see here all the settings in one page and also you can see the uh, settings.json so one thing you can do is uh, once you install fleet if you want to disable the uh, say uh, send usage statistics you can just uh, search for stat and then you can disable it so this is one thing you can do and then you can just uh, go over uh, the uh, high level uh, settings it's pretty straightforward and you can change the font font size you can enable show line numbers status bar uh, cursor so everything a typical uh, ide thing uh, you can see it here okay now let me close this and at the top left you will get the file menu a typical file menu edit view go to run git window help everything you can see here and here you can see the panel so if you just uh, select the left panel you will see the files bottom uh, again uh, you will get the panel and also the terminal you can keep it there and the right panel as you see here you will get in three places so basically you can just move these panels anywhere wherever you like you can just keep it there and the search as you see here we just click on search or you can use the uh, shortcut control shift f if you want to list out the tools we can see the control t shortcut and actions as you see the long list of actions and control k for go to so now let us uh, go to the file menu and uh, let us go to open and let us open the uh, k6 uh, git repository so whenever you open uh, any repository by default uh, the smart mode will not be uh, turned on so you need to enable the uh, smart mode so as you see here this is a typical uh, uh, k6 repository so now this doesn't have the uh, git initiator now let me go back and open uh, another uh, git repository here uh, fig autocomplete so now as you see here this is the uh, git repository and once the uh, folder is opened here as you see a git tab you are getting automatically and also the history and right now it is in the editor mode to enable the smart mode at the top right as you see there is a button called smart mode just click and it will display this message enable only if you trust the source code because it will execute the code whatever you have it in your repository if the code contains malicious uh, thing then uh, that is not safe to turn on so that is why uh, you have to enable only if you trust the repository only if you trust the author of the code so now let me click on enable so this will start indexing all the files and folders and then uh, it will uh, uh, detect any errors fixes those things a typical uh, smart thing it will do and then it will uh, uh, turn on the smart mode so once it is smart mode is on let us open uh, some file say let us go to source and let us open jmeter.ts uh, 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 instead of uh, scrolling up and down we can just uh, quickly do uh, the uh, quick search here so let like just hit enter so as you see you are getting a jmeter.ts file so this is the uh, typescript file and if you just uh, start typing it will automatically uh, uh, displays the autocomplete everything it is still indexing that's why we are not getting anything so completion is not available so indexing is in progress so now let us wait for the indexing to be complete and then we can see the uh, syntax highlighting and other features now the indexing is completed now let us start typing some simple code here say let us type a const here as you see and uh, let us declare some variable say uh, hello world and you can use uh, console dot uh, log it will automatically uh, displays this information for you so this is how 
you can make use of the uh, smart mode so whatever we have seen just uh, has the surface but you can do a lot of uh, things like uh, definitions quality fixes a lot of stuffs so now let us uh, go to the git here and as you see it is automatically displaying the unsynced commits and uh, the history here and if you want to create uh, say a new uh, branch here right so you can just uh, click here and then you can uh, select the branch and you can uh, enter the branch name and then you can check out so everything is included within the id so no need to install any dependencies by yourself but of course uh, there is no like a third party plugins or extensions uh, available yet but it will be coming soon so in many blogs and many uh, references quotes that it is a vs code competitor or vs code killer i don't see it from that perspective so basically it is good to have uh, two things say we have ios we have an android so similarly if you have vs code definitely it's good to have fleet or any other ide so that uh, the market uh, share is uh, equally uh, distributed so i don't see it as a competitor or anything like that but definitely you can check it out fleet the only thing is uh, we need to wait for the uh, pricing whether it will stay as uh, free because the website says only the parts of the uh, fleet is will be open source and rest will be proprietary to JetBrains. so the pricing angle is not clear so we need to wait till uh, the information comes from uh, JetBrains team but i hope this video is pretty useful uh, for you guys thanks for watching have a good day if you like my dad's videos please subscribe to qa insights channel